G'day, how are you going? Welcome, hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. It's uh, the 11th of March, so they say. Sorry I've been quiet, just uh, a few commitments with family and um, flood. Uh, it's just been non-stop with uh, water and uh, dealing with the issues that lots of water brings along. So, but anyway... Shit happens, as they say, it's out of my control, and there's nothing I can do about it, so I'll just pray. So, <laughs> comments about gaslighting, it seems a lot of people don't know what gaslighting is or means, and, and tends to be doing it themselves, so check this out. If you're interested, stick around. You're not going crazy. 15 signs you're a victim of gaslighting. The only way you can describe how you feel is that you're minimised. You feel crushed and smothered. You're consistently second-guessing yourself, your feelings, your perceptions, your memories, and a small suffocated part of your inside of you wonders whether you're actually going crazy. You feel neurotic, you feel hypersensitive, and you feel an overwhelming sense of alienation. What's wrong with you? And if you can identify with what I just wrote, you're most likely experiencing a sophisticated manipulation technique known as gaslighting. This technique undermines your entire perception of reality and can slowly creep into your relationships, friendships, family life and work life. Although you might feel crazy, although you might feel imbalanced and irrational, there's still hope. So what is gaslighting? Inspired by the 1940s and 1944 film Gaslight, where a husband systematically manipulates his wife in order to make her feel crazy. The term gaslighting is now commonly used to describe behaviour that is inherently manipulative. Gaslighting at its core is a form of emotional abuse that slowly eats away at your ability to make judgments. Essentially, a gaslighter spins their negative, harmful and or destructive words and actions in their favour, deflecting the blame for their abusive deeds and pointing the finger at you. This is often done to make you feel overly sensitive, paranoid, mentally unstable, silly, unhinged and many other sensations which cause you to doubt yourself. Commonly adopted by a psych psychopathic, psycho Psychopathic, sociopathic and narcissistic types of people, gaslighting tends to eat away at you slowly until you realise you're a shell of your former person you were. Examples of gaslighting Let's take a look at some examples of gaslighting. In a family scenario, Andrew's father is angry, bitter man. Every day, Andrew is afraid to tip the balance of his father's mood because he often bursts out in fits of rage calling Andrew a bastard and a worthless little loser among many other hurtful names when Andrew confronts his father about his aggressive name calling Andrew's father laughs and tells him to stop being so sensitive in a relationship scenario Jade has been married for five years and has two small children with her husband, Mike. For the past few months, Jade has been trying to establish a small art shop. But when she asks for her husband's assistance, his mood darkens. I can't believe you're spending so much time on this shop. Don't you care about me? Don't you care about the kids? You're supposed to be mothering them, he explains. Jade is shocked. But I just wanted you to help me with setting up the store and I haven't been neglecting anyone. Mike comes up very close to Jade's face. You see, now you're denying it. When I married you, I thought you'd be there for your family. I should just take the kids and go away. Mike storms off. Later, when Jade sits down to talk to Mike about this threat, Mike says, Honey, I, you know, honey, you know you were overreacting and you know that you've been obsessing over the shop too much. This makes the rest of us feel very ignored and excluded. I hope you understand that. At a work scenario, Sophie has been working in her department for the past five years when she's giving a promotion to migrate to another level of the company that pays a higher salary. However, Sophie has been given a trial period to determine whether she is capable of fulfilling her duties or not. Nervously, she meets with her new supervisor, Kelly, at first. Likes. S Sophie likes. 
her supervisor and fulfills all her tasks at the time. However, her supervisor begins to ask her to do belittling chores and favours here and there with increasing frequency. While Sophie is fine with helping out, she finds that Kelly is becoming more and more demanding. Finally, as Sophie's work piles up to the unbearable level, she tells Kelly that she needs to focus on completing her work, but she can help another time. Later in the staff meeting, Kelly introduces Sophie to everyone and says, Although she's not keeping up with us yet, I'm sure she'll learn to embody her, our own hard-working ethics soon. Immediately, Sophie blushes and feels publicly insulted, humiliated, fearing for the security of her new job. Later, when Sophie asks her supervisor why she thinks she's not as she thinks she's not embodying their hard work ethic, her supervisor says, I think you misunderstood me. I just said that you're not used to our pace of work so that other people can help you out. From then on, Sophie accepts all extra demands and chores, no matter how much work she has and how demanding the tasks are. How to know whether someone is gaslighting you. Gaslighting is so harmful because it promotes anxiety, depression, and with enough frequency in our lives, it can sometimes trigger nervous breakdowns. So the question now is, are you being gaslighted? How can you know whether you're experiencing this subtle form of manipulation in your life? Review the following telltale signs. 1. Something is off about your friend, partner, son, daughter, mother, father, sister, brother, colleagues, boss or other persons in your life, but you can't quite explain or pinpoint what. 2. You frequently second-guess your ability to remember the details of past events, leaving you psychologically powerless. 3. You feel confused and disoriented. 4. You feel threatened on, on edge around this person but you don't know why. 5. You feel the need to apologise all the time for what you do and who you are. 6. You never quite feel good enough and try to live up to the expectations and demands of others even if they are unreasonable and harm you in some way. 7. You feel like there's something fundamentally wrong with you, e.g. you're neurotic or losing it. 8. You feel like you're consistently overreacting or too sensitive. Nine, you feel isolated, hopeless, misunderstood and depressed. Ten, you find it hard to trust your own judgment and given a choice, you choose to believe the judgment of the abuser. Eleven, you feel scared and as though something is terribly wrong but you don't know what or why. 12. You find it hard to make decisions because you distrust yourself. 13. You feel as though you're a much weaker version of yourself and you are much more strong and confident in the past. Fourteen, you feel guilty for not feeling happy like you used to. Fifteen, you become afraid of speaking up or expressing your emotions so you stay silent instead. Tactics used by the gaslighter. Gaslighters use a very variety of stubble techniques to undermine your reality and portray you as the disturbed and messed up one. These include, for example, discrediting you by making other people think that you're crazy, irrational or unstable. Using a mask of confidence, assertiveness and of fake compassion to make you believe that you have it all wrong. Therefore, eventually you begin to doubt yourself and you believe their version of past events. Changing the subject, the gaslighter may divert the topic by asking another question or making a statement usually directed at your thoughts, e.g. you're imagining things that never happened. No, you're wrong, you didn't remember it right. Is that another crazy idea you got from your family member, friend? Minimising. By trivialising how you feel and what you think, the gaslighter gains more and more power over you, e.g. Why are you being so oversensitive? You don't need to get angry over a little thing like that. Oh, I was just joking around. Why are you taking things so seriously? Denial and avoidance. By refusing to acknowledge your feelings and thoughts, the gaslighter causes you to doubt yourself more and more. For example, I don't remember that. You must have dreamt it. You're lying. I never said that. 
I don't know what you're talking about. You're changing the subject. Twisting and reframing. When the gaslighter confidently and stubbornly twists and reframes from what's said or done in their favour, they cause it can cause you to second guess yourself, especially when paired with fake compassion, making you feel as though you are unstable, irrational and so forth. For example, I didn't say that I said that blank I didn't beat you up, Johnny. I just gave you a smack around the head. That's what all good fathers do. If you remember correctly, I was actually trying to help you. Why empaths often get gaslighted? An empath is a person who is highly sensitive to energy of others. Empaths are known as energy sponges because they absorb the emotional pain around them. As a result, empaths tend to be highly self-sacrificing in an attempt to make everybody's lives better. When it comes to gaslighting, empaths are easy targets because they often struggle to differentiate themselves from their abusers. In other words, while they are highly intu intuitive and perceptive people, empaths often lack personal boundaries and struggle to say no, and no boundaries equals perfect prey for a narcissistic gaslighting techniques. I've explored the issue of narcissistic gaslighting abuse in my book. If you think this might be an issue for you, it's definitely worth checking out. This is a serious issue that can create long-term harm in your life, especially if you're a sensitive person. And that's true because, you know, words hurt you. Words, words, uh, uh, you know, I would rather, I personally would rather be bashed up than, than, you know, take someone's verbal abuse for 15 minutes, you know. I'd rather be bashed for 15 minutes physically than, than cop 15 minutes of abuse verbally because I know that you know the bruises and and the, the broken bones whatever happens will heal you know and that that pain will go away it's it's only temporary but when you get hurt with words that that sticks with you for life you know that that's with you you know it's just stored in the back of your head forever and you might get a smell or a uh, you know or a trigger of something that it just brings it back up to you you know it's it just takes the smallest thing you know that's where you got to be you know love yourself and, and and not let others hurt you you know sticks and stones will break my bones but names will never hurt me just remember that one healing the wounds ignited by gaslighting Gaslighting causes us to doubt our own memories, perceptions and judgments, throwing us emotionally and psychologically off balance. If you feel as though your self-esteem, confidence and independence has withered under the flame of gaslighting, you are not alone and there certainly is hope. Most all of us, including myself, have experienced one form of gaslighting or another throughout life. The problem arises when gaslighting is a frequent shadow that trials behind our relationships and partnerships. The good news is that knowledge and awareness is the first step to healing your life and rebuilding the strong, perceptive person you are. And you have already taken it. While it's true that in some situations we generally might be overreacting or we might generally be exhibiting irrational behaviour, it is also important for you to listen to your instincts and intuition. Do you have a heavy feeling in the pit of your stomach? Do you feel weighed down or oppressed? Do you feel depressed? These are signs that you have unconsciously picked up on deception or foul play. While we can be consciously consciously fooled unconsciously we can't and often we have a lingering feeling that something just isn't right make sure that you listen to that feeling and seek help either professionally or socially i.e a trusted group of friends or a support network and i'm always here you know if uh, any of my friends you subscribers out there you know are down in the dumps and Want to talk about something? My email address is in the about sec section. Send me an email. And we'll, we'll chat. You know, I'm here. I'm not this big bad, you know, person that people are uh, out there trying to make me be. You know, I'm not that type of person. In summary, here are some ways to support yourself in face of gaslighting. 
Firstly, clarify to yourself how, when and who is gaslighting you. Think about the ways they can make you feel unhinged and like you're losing it. Write down whatever you can think of. You must be able to confirm that you're being gaslighted before you can move on with your life. Pay attention to the signs of being gaslighted. If you feel a bit confused, be little, crazy, manipulated, Take a deep breath, clear your mind and center yourself. Set aside regular time for grounding each day through meditation or exercise. These techniques will help you stay objective even if a different difficult circumstances. Now, I personally, with meditation, I read the Bible outside as the sun rises and the sun sets for about an hour and a half to two hours each day. I go out and take the Bible with me and I have a torch. And I don't do yoga or um, any of those new age sort of things. I think that's that new age stuff has been bought into discredit ways of, you know, healing the body through our Christ and other methods. So just be careful what you do. Do yoga is not good. Um, decide whether it's worth continuing your friendships or your relationships. If your working relationship Think about whether it's worth staying in your job or not. If you want to stay, think about ways to minimise interaction with the gaslighter until you felt grounded and confident. Talk to trusted friends or loved ones about your problem. Alternatively, seek help from a mentor or therapist who can help do some shadow work. Shift your perspective from being a victim to become a warrior, a winner. Whatever word feels the most empowering, you don't have to remain a victim for the rest of your life. And by reclaiming your personal power, you'll also be able to help others in similar circumstances. And this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help someone because I was that person 25 years ago. I was, that, you know, playing the victim. And, you know, it sounds like we, we had similar sort of childhood problems. And I can see me in this person and it's just sad um really sad but uh i turned it around i don't play the victim anymore i i was healed and when i was healed that was the biggest it, it was the biggest relief in my life the, the weight off my shoulders just lifted you know i hope these actions can help you regain a sense of personal clarity, confidence and empowerment once again as you recover from a gaslight on mind games. If you have left a relationship in which you are being gaslighted or being targeted by a narcissist in your life again, check out my article, Hovering, which is another twisted emotional manipulation technique. Oh yeah, I used to have, my my ex-husband used to do that, uh, he, he would... Uh, hover around me, tell me what I could wear, tell me I couldn't wear makeup, and he actually kept me fat. I used to weigh 135 kilograms, and he used to always bring home chocolates with flowers and things like that, because he didn't want me to become skinny, because he said, I'm too pretty when I'm skinny, and I'll leave him. So that was his own insecurities, and he was pushing his insecurities onto me, and, and I picked up those insecurities, and then put myself down, and and you know, spent five, ten years in that little circle. <sighs> Are you experiencing gaslighting? Do you know someone who is? Do you have any recommendations that would help others? Please share below. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a really, really hard world to live in. And, you know, uh, Life isn't easy. I don't think it's meant to be easy. I think uh, I think this place is a school. We stuffed up somewhere, and you know we were sent here to learn. And um, you got one chance at it, so try and make it right. So with that in mind, if you don't mind, hit the like, subscribe if you if you like. I would appreciate that. And have the bell uh, clicked. Uh, I've had a lot of problems with uh, uh, YouTube messing with subscribers. Um, I'm being unsubscribed from very close friends that I've known several years, and they make content, and um, it's I get no notifications when they make videos, 
and um, I have to go to their channel. I literally have to type it in in the search bar to find them, resubscribe, and then like 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, I go back and check something else. I'm unsubscribed again. So just the fun games that the devil's playing, you know, trying to break up all these friendships I've built up, and and I'm trying to help people. I'm not out to hurt anyone, and um, I don't hate anyone. Hate is a really, really horrible word and it's nasty um, I dislike behaviors from people but I don't hate people as in themselves it's it's just me I don't hate anyone really I don't I dislike behaviors dislike is different to hate but you know disliking those behaviors like with help you can change those behaviors you know, especially with a bit of guidance and, you know, positive thinking. So don't don't think negative. If you sit there thinking negative about what's happened and, and how you're hurt, it's only going to make you feel worse. So you got to change your way of thinking and, and living and it's all kinds of things. Reach out to people. Ask for help. People can't read your mind. So thank you, everyone. So... We've, I've been quiet because of, um, like, we had floods and um, mum broke her wrist and slipped on the water in the floods and had to have surgery, to, like, yesterday, like, today's Friday morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, but uh, Thursday, yesterday, she had surgery, so keep her in your prayers and um, my dad's not doing too good, It's it's really sad to see my father um, deteriorate like this and you know if I could give him my heart I would um, but that would leave my children suffering but I would I'd give him my heart you know if he he said if he asked and we were a match I'd do it in a heartbeat because I love him so wherever you are in the world thank you for watching I appreciate your support and much love raise your vibrations Thank you. Bye now.